Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the vintage half hexagon and how to join it as you go. This half hexagon is part of the Made by Anita vintage hexagon blanket. All the details for that blanket and the written pattern is available on Anita's website madebyanita.co.uk. Now please note the written pattern uses UK terminology. I use American terminology, so just note that if you're following the written pattern where it says treble, that is the UK term for an American double crochet. To begin, pop a slip knot onto your hook. Then chain three and join with a slip stitch to that very first chain that you made. This forms a small little loop and we're going to work our stitches into the center of it. Chain three, which counts as your first double crochet, and then work eight more double crochets into this little center ring. Once you have your eight double crochets and that first chain three for a total of nine stitches, we're going to chain one and fasten off our yarn. So just snip your yarn, pull it up and pull it tight. Now grab your green yarn and we're going to join it with this right side of the work still facing you. We're going to join the green yarn between the second and the third of these stitches. Now this chain three counts, so one, two, three. So in between the second and the third. So skip two and pop your hook in between and join your green yarn. I like to use a slip knot for joining. So that's the chain three, the first double crochet. And that's your second double crochet that you made there. So one, two, three. So in between the second and the third stitch, you've joined your green yarn. Chain three, which counts as your first double crochet. And place one more double crochet into that same space. chain two, skip two stitches and work two double crochet in between the next. So skip, skip and work two double crochet in between those two stitches. It's one and that's two. Chain two, skip two stitches and work two double crochets in between the next. Skip, skip, and work those two double crochets. Chain two, and we're going to end with one double crochet in between these two last stitches. So skip two, and work one double crochet in between those last two stitches and then fasten off your yarn. Now grab your cream yarn and we're going to join our cream yarn in between 
the chain three and that first double crochet. I'm going to pop my hook in there, attach my cream yarn with a slip knot. Now chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Now we're going to slip stitch into the top of the green chain three. So just slip stitch in there. And then slip stitch into the next green double crochet. Then we're going to work two double crochet in between these skipped pink stitches from round one or row one, this first half section. So fold the green chain two out of the way and work two double crochet in between those pink stitches. Flip the green back up and slip stitch underneath the next two green double crochet stitches. One, two. So the chain two is behind the stitches. Do the same thing again. Fold the chain two, the green chain two down and work two double crochet in between those pink stitches. Flip the green back up, slip stitch under the top of the next two green double crochets. One, two, fold the green chain two down and work two double crochet in between the next two pink stitches. It's all from that very first round. The ones you skipped when making the green. Flip the green back up and slip stitch, oh, too many ends, slip stitch into the top of that last double crochet of this little row, that green one. Now chain three with the cream and turn. So you've got the back of the work now facing you. We're going to work three double crochet in between the two cream stitches that you just made. So work over that, the green chain two yarn and straight into this gap, work three double crochet stitches. So it's one, two, three. We're going to work three double crochet in between the two green double crochets. And then again in between the two cream double crochets. So you're splitting these stitches. In between the two green double crochets, work three, three double crochets. And then in between these two cream ones, work three double crochet. Work three double crochet in between the last two green double crochets from that row below. So you should have six sets of three double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've got your cream chain three over here and to and we're going to work a double crochet in between these last two stitches here. So just work one double crochet into that space and then fasten off your cream.
Now turn your work, grab the colour you want for your fourth round and the blanket so we can attach it onto the side. So here is the edge of my blanket and this is where I want to join this hexagon to. So I have my colour for joining. Join your yarn in between that last double crochet of the row and the three. So you've got a cluster of three double crochet here and then there's one double crochet hanging out on its own. Pop your hook in in between them and join your joining colour. Now chain two. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the corner, the corner chain two space of my yellow hexagon here. So I'm going to complete round four and join as I go. Work back into the same place where you just joined the pink yarn and work two double crochets. Now slip stitch in between your sets of three stitches on your yellow hexagon. And then in between your sets of cream stitches on this half hexagon, work three double crochet stitches. Slip stitch back to this yellow hexagon and work three double crochet stitches into this next space in between your sets of three. Let's work three double crochet. And as you can see, this is a corner and we're joining to two corners. So slip stitch into your yellow hexagon chain two space or the corner space and then slip stitch into this blue corner space. Then work three double crochet back into the same spot on this new pink half hexagon. And we're going to continue crocheting and joining as we go. So slip stitch to your blue hexagon, three double crochet, everything's moving out of shot, three double crochet back into your half hexagon. Slip stitch to join it to the blue. And then into the next section, work three double crochet. Now this again is going to be a corner, but it's a corner where two corners meet. So we're going to slip stitch to the blue hexagon. And then if I move everything around, then slip stitch into this pale green corner and then work a three double crochets back into that same spot on the pink half hexagon to complete the corner. So you can see we are joining it as we go. So slip stitch to the pale green. Rotate everything round. 
work three double crochets back into your half hex seat. Slip stitch to your green hexagon. And then in between the last two stitches, so you've got your three double crochets and then you have another stitch over here. In between those last two stitches, work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then slip stitch into the green corner and fasten off your yarn. For me, that's a chain one, but you are welcome to fasten off however you prefer. And that is your half hexagon all joined to give you a lovely straight edge. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do find the written pattern on Made by Anita's website, which I have listed down below. Many thanks to Anita for allowing me the privilege of filming these last two tutorials for her. And until next time, Happy crocheting. Bye.